we're going to talk about getting the secondary colors in. So in order to do the secondary colors, they are now equidistant, that's the word of the day here, between the primary colors. So we're going to find equidistant between red and yellow is this one. And when we mix red plus yellow, it is called orange. This is a secondary color. I'm going to turn my wheel. Between yellow and blue, equidistant is this one, and that's green. If you broke it down, green is actually blue-yellow. And then turn it once more. Between red and blue is violet. And we also know violet is purple, but violet would also be red-blue. So that's our secondary color. So now we're going to go ahead and color those in. If you have red, yellow, if you have green, orange, and violet, you can go ahead and color those in with your um, color out of the box. So I'm going to look and see if I have a pure green. And I'm seeing all these other green. There we go. So this one says it has three colors, green, verde, and ver. English, Spanish, French. So I'm just going to color that one in. Again, I'm mixing it now, so I have color pencil and crayon in here, and that is totally fine. Usually you can find primary and secondary colors, no problem in any variety of crayons or color pencils that you own. Violet, be careful that you pick one that says only violet, that it doesn't say red violet, or this one says blue violet, you don't want that one. You want only what says violet. Here's my color pencil, it says violet, that's what I'm gonna use. There we go. And the last one I have to work on is orange. And I have an orange colored pencil handy, so I'm gonna use that. Okay, so now I have done the primary and secondary colors of the color wheel. And I need to work on the tertiary colors, which are those six blank spots left there. And um, it's pretty easy to figure out how their names are made. It's always a hyphenated name, which is that dash in between. You take the name of the one on the left and the name on the one on the right. The two touching, whatever that is, that's the name of your color. But the primary color's name always comes first. So let's go around and name them together. We have red and orange touching, so the name of this color is red orange. Turning the wheel. I have orange and yellow touching. So I take the name of the primary color, which is yellow. So the name of this color is yellow orange. Turn, I have yellow and green. The primary is yellow. So the name of the color is yellow green. Turn, I have blue and green. The name of the primary is blue. So it's blue green. This is the one we talked about that is also aqua, teal, turquoise. That is blue green. Turn it again, I have blue and violet. Blue is the primary color of the two, so the name of it is blue-violet. You would know this as indigo. If you've ever heard of Roy G. Biv, the I indigo is blue-violet. It's also the color of like jeans. And then between violet and red, red is the primary, so the name of the color is red-violet. Okay, at this point, you can color in if you find the name of the color. So look, I have yellow-orange, so I'm gonna find yellow-orange and I'm gonna color that one in. If you don't have the colors, I'm gonna show you how to mix them next. I do recommend when you mix colors that you mix crayon plus crayon. I wouldn't mix crayon and color pencil. They probably are gonna have different intensities so they won't mix the same. So let's make yellow green and we're gonna make it out of crayon. So I make sure I have my green and my plain yellow and I'm gonna mix them down here. You don't hold them both at once. You're gonna take the darker color. So yellow is the lightest color, so I would take the darker of the two colors is green, and I'm gonna press lighter than I pressed before. So you're not pressing down as hard as you could press, you're pressing lighter. So right now that just looks like light green. Now you're gonna go on top of it with the other color in the name and press harder. And sometimes I change it to like circles. If you see how I'm going around in circles or I change the direction I colored so that doesn't have all these streaks and lines in it. While you're working on it, it might look not right to you. It might look like yellow and green on top of each other, but if you squint, you can see it's yellow and green. 
Sometimes you can see where you mixed. You can always go back in with the other color and press harder. There isn't a right amount. It doesn't have to be so much yellow or so much green. As long as you mix both yellow and green, you're making yellow green. And you can see mine's a little on the green side. So I'm gonna see if I can add a little bit more yellow so it's something kind of in the middle. And that's how I make yellow green out of crayons. I'm gonna turn it now. And I have blue green. Remember I said blue green is gonna be like cerulean or a turquoise or we can make it. So I'm going to take a, I'm gonna to try to make that for you in front of you with a green and a blue. Those two are both pretty similar colors as far as which is darker. I would say blue is darker. So I'm gonna lightly put some blue down and you're gonna see when you do colored pencils, you get those lines or like stroke marks. Try not to get those and the best way to not get those is to kind of use the side of the colored pencil rather than the point. So more like you're going sideways and kind of change direction if you can. So there I put down the darker color. Now I'm gonna put the lighter color on top which would be green in this pair. And sometimes you get the stroke marks in there anyway. It's difficult not to. And there I have made blue-green. If it doesn't look right to you, you could add more color in. And there's your blue-green. Blue-violet, I said was indigo, or look, crayons have a lot of colors in it that you might need. Blue-violet, right out of the box, I can color that guy in. All right, I have two left, red-violet. I seem to always get a red-violet crayon every time I try to work with a red crayon. Look, red-violet. And then again, those other two names are just two other languages, so only read that top one. Color it right on in. Red-violet kind of looks like pink here. It's not pink, it has violet in it. Um, it's kind of, the other word for red-violet you might hear is magenta. But pink is actually red and white only. And I have one more left, red-orange. Here's my red-orange crayon, I lucked out. Another um, crayon that I think is kind of red-orangey is this one, Scarlet. So again, if you are finding these right out of the box, that's great, you can go ahead and use those. Um, but you, um, the best bet is to set it up the way I did from the beginning, so you're learning how they're all made because everything is just made with whatever's next to it, except for the pre three primary you started with. So this is the 12 color color wheel.